When you ride a horse, you're an athlete. This is an athletic event. Any kind of an equestrian event, you have to be athletic on a horse's back. So I have come up with what I feel like's right. I've listened to uh, Buster Welch and Shorty Freeman and, and Don Dodge and Matlock. Matlock was a big guru of mine. And they all ride similar, but with a little bit of difference. You know, Matlock rode flat bottom stirrups. Buster and Shorty rode we rode the oxbow. I've just come accustomed to using the oxbow. You know, I won't lose a stirrup when I have an oxbow. It has, it's round as you see, much like an oxbow, where the other one is a flat stirrup, usually about two and a half inches wide. A lot of people use that and put their toes in there. I don't like losing stirrups, so I, I use the oxbow and put my foot all the way in. Now you realize to sit on this horse, you have to be sitting in an athletic position. If you're not sitting in an athletic position, with his as powerful and as many stops and turns as they have, he's apt to lose you. So you have to be in an athletic position. Now, I played a lot of sports in school. Many of you have too. And when they tell you, I, I, what I noticed is, no matter what sport that you're in, whether it be baseball, basketball, football, tennis, shooting pool, uh, wrestling, any sport at all has the same stance. I was a pole vaulter in, in track, and I started out with the same stance. I'm going to show you that stance. All, that coach always tells you: get your feet shoulder width apart, turn them slightly outward, bend your knees, get your back bent a little bit, and you get in this position. If you're playing baseball, you're playing football, you're playing basketball, it doesn't make any difference. If you're running track, fixing to go down the track, same thing: feet shoulder width apart, toes slightly outward, bend your knees, bend your back. Now, the way I look at it,